Well, the Igbos have, for the current period, done something they've never done before. They have actually sat down and have strategically looked at all the candidates that have come forward, seen the best as determined by national acclaim, national perception, and that is Pitobi, and that's why they followed him. Yes, there are members of the Igbo transactional elite who are not very happy at the sudden surge of P2B in the perception, thoughts and rankings of a lot of people across the country and they have been employed. The last of them employed was uh, Professor Soludo who was told by Mr. Atiku Abubakar if you can, like Amechi worked for Mr. Buhari, help me kill your brother. After I rule as president, I'll make you president. But I will tell you, you have seen also how Amechi ended up Amechi helped to kill the aspirations of Dr. Goodluck Abela Jonathan. Amechi didn't get to where he was promised. So I think Soludo it, uh, has also done Pito Obi some good because Soludo has shown that Pito Obi is not an Igbo candidate. No, he's a Nigerian candidate. And that's one thing I would tell other people to look at. Soludo has been nice to Pito Obi by trying his luck and seeing the avalanche of reactions against his position by Nigerians from all walks of life. So I would say, like Ejike Mbaka, the transactional pastor, like Ike Kwaremado, like Shote Mecca from Imo State, like uh, uh, you now have uh, uh, Professor Soludo, all those among the Igbo elite who belong to the transactional political section who have tried their luck have only helped Peter Obi to be seen by other Nigerians that Peter Obi is not an Igbo project. Peter is a Nigerian project. Today, embraced mostly in the middle belt because of the fear of the people of the middle belt to Buhari's use of nepotism to force the army to stay hands and not to react to the slow motion civil war in the middle belt brought about by the Bureau of Fulani Felicia men all in quest for ancestral lands as a way to carry through Buhari's agenda of resettling Fulanians from all over the place including those running away from Yemen due to the current civil war in Yemen. <laughs>